Uh, I work hard for the bread, I don't lay in bed Ain't no sleepy head, nigga, fuck a suit of feds Gotta move my legs, man, go and get it If I don't, then I'll be broken, come up shorter than a midget It's bullshit, and I ain't with it What up, YouTube? It is your boy, All About The Sneakers, back with another unboxing and review video for you guys. As you can tell from that thumbnail, today is an Air Jordan release day, and we will be unboxing and reviewing the Air Jordan 12 University Gold. From what I've speculated, this was not an easy cop for a lot of people. Some people, it was a little more easier than others. So comment below and let me know if this was an easy cop for you guys, if you even copped the shoe or you took an L, if you got the shoe for resale purposes or if you plan on keeping these, comment below and let me know. All right, guys, before we get started, if you're new to the channel or if you're not, go ahead and smash the like, subscribe, and share button and make sure you hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date on future release videos. Now with no further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the unboxing. All right, and as you can see, we have our Air Jordan 12 box, black on the bottom, red on the top, and we do have that Jordan text right there in the center. On the top of the box, we get a big Jumpman logo right there in the center. On one side of the box, we get that Jumpman logo. All right, and on the back of the box, we get black on there with some text that does say, quality inspired by the greatest player ever. On the bottom of the box we get our typical Nike branding and on the other side of the box we get another Jumpman logo and our size sticker and the size sticker reads Air Jordan 12 retro the colorway is black university gold black this is a US size 10 and the suggested retail value on this shoe is 190 US dollars all right so yes it was another hectic day in the sneaker community trying to cop this shoe right here very very hot shoe everybody and their mama wanted it at least from what I could tell but another of that let's go ahead and get into the shoe all right as you guys can see we do have our typical flip up lid on the box and I did pick this pair up at finish line this is a little quality inspection thing that they do or a confirmation that they do to make sure that you do have your right pair of shoes in there so you may not get that on your box if you did not pick up your pairs from finish line even if you did some stores do not put that on there I don't know why but big ups to finish line for the cop all right and as you can see we do have some brown tissue paper in here let's go ahead and get the shoe out all right and there you have it the Air Jordan 12 University Gold very very nice looking sneaker in my opinion love the black up top with the yellow just looking like a bumblebee very nice all right let's go ahead and do a quick 360 on the shoe All right, let's go ahead and go over the shoe a little in depth. All right, so as you guys can clearly tell, the shoe is black and yellow. There is no other colors in the shoe, just straight up black and yellow, or should I call it university gold? All right, and here on the outsole, we have yellow as well as here on the midsole. You can clearly see that. We do have that textured leather here on the mud guard, as well as that little Jordan plastic piece right there in yellow as well. Here on the rear part of the midsole, we do have some black painted area there. It is a little bit shiny and then as we move up to the upper we do get some textured leather there as well and this time the leather is actually matte looking on the shoe instead of that shine so you do go from shine on the midsole up to matte. That is something that is noticeable to me. Uh, it's not bad, but we don't get that shiny leather on the upper, which I'm cool with. I actually do like this matte look. It just looks a lot more clean and genuine instead of, I guess, plastic per se. Now, as far as the leather quality, the quality isn't bad. I mean, it's fairly it's probably medium grade per se and the only other air jordan 12 that i own is the game royal pair that released last year which is very comparable to this pair it just has royal blue instead of the university gold in the same color block now here on these eyelets we do get some black eyelets and they do have the jumpman logo on there but guys that pretty much does it for the lateral side of the shoe onto the front of the shoe as you can see that yellow wrapping around the toe black on the toe black leather tongue and the texture on the leather on the tongue is just slightly different. I mean, it seems to be the same kind of texture, just 
less prominent. We also get the University Gold 2-3 going down the tongue and we get that University Gold Jumpman right there on the top of the tongue. On to the medial side of the shoe, we get an identical look that we get on the lateral side, except for the plastic piece here does not have Jumpman on it. And you get a little bit of these gaps or vents or whatever you want to call these on the outsole. Okay, and on to the back of the shoe, as you can see that yellow on the outsole, black 23 there, and we get our pull tab going up the rear of the shoe, white text on there, outline in university gold with the golden box black jump man up top and for those of you who this may be your first time seeing an air jordan 12 it does say jordan on the back quality inspired by the greatest player ever just thought i'd throw that out there because not everyone is a sneaker expert or fanatic they may just be watching the channel for the first time so all you experts out there never mind whenever i go in depth or details about little things like that because not everyone knows about the shoe all right, on to the inside of the shoe. We do have a black sock liner, black insole with University Gold Jumpman right there in the center. You can also see that size sticker. And on the back of the tongue, it's a little hard to see, but we do have our sizing tag in there. All right, and lastly, moving along to the outsole, we have a predominantly yellow outsole or University Gold, should I say. We get these two black pods here, a black Jumpman on the tip of the outsole, and we get that black and gray zigzag carbon fiber, or at least I believe it's carbon fiber. Please comment below, let me know. Guys, I'm not an expert on the Air Jordan 12. Again, this is my second pair. Actually, I had a pair back in the day, but something actually happened to the shoe. I'm not too sure, but I don't own it anymore. So I never really got to look at these in depth until now, or really the previous pair that I picked up, but I hardly looked at it. This is the first one that I'm really just taking a super glance at. So again, comment below. Let me know if that is real carbon fiber under there. I do believe it is, but I'm not certain. All right, guys, but yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for this shoe. If you're familiar with the Air Jordan 12, this is nothing new to you, but it does have this black upper that looks really really great to me i love dark colored shoes especially when you throw a light color on there to contrast looks really really dope and like i mentioned earlier in the video these were not an easy cop for a lot of people luckily i did get them in hand again big ups finish line for that pickup i actually doubled up on the shoe so big up foot locker as well for the pickup if you guys did pick these up, comment below. Let me know where you got them from. Other than that, guys, it pretty much wraps up the video. Let's go ahead and do one more quick 360 on the shoe. And let's get one last look at the shoe before we put it away. All right, guys, and you just saw it. The Air Jordan 12 University Gold. Very nice sneaker, in my opinion. Glad to have it in my collection. But that does it for this episode, guys. So until the next episode, keep keeping it all about the sneakers. Once again, it is your boy, All About the Sneakers, signing off. Until the next episode, I will catch you guys later. Salute. I'm out.